What's up guys, it's your boy Azza inside the house, and today I want to talk about Naruto Shinobi Strikers. Alright guys, first thing I want to talk about today is how Naruto Shinobi Strikers will evolve the Naruto series. And what I mean by that is, it will Shinobi Strikers will literally reshape the whole entire Naruto, Naruto community and the Naruto game franchise. Alright, because with the release of the new Shinobi Strikers game, we already know it's going to be team based, right? Yes. It's going to come up with new metas, new strategies, new team-based work. All right, everybody knows that. We've seen the trailers. We see we can create our own characters, and that's good. But what nobody's thinking about is the future of Naruto after Shinobi Strikers. Literally, Shinobi, the release of Shinobi Strikers is literally the biggest change for the Naruto community in years. We have been limited as the Naruto community to only see the Storm franchise. Naruto Ninja Storm 1 through 4. And yes, we had some few mini games. Well, not mini games. We had some side parters like Generations and Revolution. But now, because of Shinobi Strikers, we're literally getting everything that we wanted in a Naruto game. Well, maybe not everything. I may be exaggerating. But we're getting characters. Everybody wanted characters in a Naruto game for a long time. But that's not the only thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about how the future of Naruto is getting reshaped. Okay, it's future of Naruto is getting reshaped because Shinobi Strikers will literally make everything better in the community. Shinobi Strikers, as a game itself, has literally pushed us as fans to expect something more of Naruto games now. Ever since Storm 1 through 4, we literally only seen the same as that attack patterns. Only thing that got better was really the substitutions, and that was basically it. And ever since that, we never really got any new Naruto games that changed the way how we fight. Shinobi Strikers, they're going in the right direction because they're literally changing the way we fight. They're making us think more as players of the game. It puts more strategy than competitive, but I take strategy over competitive any day. Just like, we can get another Naruto game that's competitive. I think right now we need to take a break from the competitive side and just focus on having fun as a community. Because that's it's going to help the community grow and we can learn something from each other in the Naruto community. Literally, if you go into a game with a whole bunch of randoms, what if you guys become friends in a party chat or you guys are in game chat and you say, hey, we got to do this strategy. That will literally improve the whole entire Naruto community right there. You're talking to people. You're coming up with strategies. You're doing teamwork based stuff. You 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 got the Sharingan. They got the uh, Huga. The Huga. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot what the I was. Yeah. See, I'm not a weeaboo. I'm sorry. <laughs> but literally, having two people in a party, and then the other two people are already talking by themselves in game chat. You already have a two. Technically like a two group type of squad and that already comes up with the strategy part Because you and your friend knows what to do off the bat and the other player know what they do off the bat if they're experienced in the game But even if they're not experienced It helps everybody in our community learn from each other because now we saying oh they got this uh, KK Genkai, where do you get that from? Hey, I need help and then because of the new mentor system that was actually confirmed because they did say in an article that I got from Sand Island that there will be mentors in the Naruto game. So because of that, it's basically Xenoverse in the Naruto franchise. That's already a step forward in the franchise for me. It's already reshaping how we want to play a game in the Naruto community. So why don't they just keep going? We don't know if they're gonna make a Shinobi Strikers 2 or Shinobi Strikers 3, but just because the game got confirmed, we already know we're gonna get more Naruto games. We're gonna get everything that we possibly wanted in the near future, even if this game doesn't bring it to us. And I'm so happy about that. Storm, Storm as a game and as a franchise in the Naruto community, I love Storm. It was a good Naruto game. Was Storm 4 the best Naruto game they ever had? Maybe, maybe not. If they finally fixed the servers, probably would have been the best Naruto game we ever had. But, that doesn't mean we can't keep looking forward and not looking back on the old days of Storm. Storm is gone. CyberConnect2 is gone right now. 
because we don't know if they're going to make another Naruto game. But we already know that Shinobi Strikers and everybody who's creating that team, they're going in the right direction. So why don't we all go down that direction with them? Because I saw how many people was looking at Shinobi Strikers in the beginning, saying, oh, it's trash. I will never buy this game. Even YouTubers was doing stuff like that. But then the moment character creation comes in, everybody want to change and jump on the bandwagon. Now, I'm not calling anybody out. That's not what my channel is for. I'm just here for discussions and to see what you guys agree with me or disagree with me about this because I love Naruto as a franchise so I'm just trying to keep moving forward but if Shinobi Strikers wasn't confirmed what type of Naruto game would you guys make or would you guys want as a community because I know each person out there has a different opinion because Naruto I know we're all Naruto fans I'm one of the biggest Naruto fanboys that's out there I want the Keke Genkai, I want the Pervy Sage, I want the Rasengan, I want the Sharingan. We all want what we want as a Naruto community. So why can't we all just be a part of that community together? And alright guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and tell all your friends about my channel. And alright guys, comment down below, adds it.